Hello, let me briefly present this male patient here. Could you give us a smile, please? We see a very low smile line. This is the way we always proceed. We first take a look at the patient clinically before we take an X-ray. Next, we look at the gingival situation. The gingiva is quite thick, so this is a thick biotype. We also see that the gingival scallop is going to work for us. You will note here that the tooth is fractured. This is a root-filled tooth. So in our eyes, this is a low-risk patient, and therefore we would absolutely consider immediate implant placement. Now, let me walk you through this step by step. The anesthetic has already been injected, so we can start to sever the dentogingival complex with a 15C scalpel blade on the palatal. It is important that I have a safe support for my hand. Then I can carefully move all the way around the tooth. Wonderful. Now here, if the tooth looked just like its counterpart in the second quadrant, I would go on using the scalpel. But in this case, I prefer a straight periotome so we don't perforate the facial gingiva. So I'm using the periotome to sever the periodontal fibers. You can see how my hand is supported so the instrument doesn't slip off. This is great. Now, obviously, you could also use a dental elevator trying to luxate the tooth or use a forceps to remove it. There is a 3D radiograph. Professor Schwarz already presented it. And we saw that this tooth is not perfectly round, but rather oval. So in order to preserve the vestibular, the buccal bone plate, I am going to use the Benix extraction system. This set offers two options. You have the choice between either a diamond-coated drill and a very fine Lindemann burr that can be inserted 